All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, all right, guys, I'm back with my WWE Extreme Rules 2014 preview. Um, going into this pay-per-view, I'm excited for some of these matches. Um, some of them I'm not, but um, <coughs> I think some of these matches um, on this card look. I think some of these matches are um, really the match I'm really, really looking forward to on this card is Evolution versus The Shield. I think that has some really good build-up. Um, I just um, with the shield, with the two teams brawling, I thought that has been awesome. Um, them cutting promos on each other, I thought that was really good as well. So, yeah, that's my most uh, excited um, match on this card is the Evolution Shield match. Um, the other matches that I'm, I'm looking, I, I really enjoyed the Intercontinental Title Tournament. Um, that has been really good. Um, the Bray Wyatt John Cena feud. Uh, I mean, I've been semi interested in to, in that, but but John Cena's ego, man, his ego is too damn big. I said that before, and I say that again. John Cena has got a too big of ego, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, maybe, so starting off with the YouTube pre-show, it's gonna be El Torito versus Hornswoggle in a WLC match. Um, I don't. Um, this has had some decent build. You've had El Torito and Hornswoggle face off on SmackDown. Uh, then 3MB defeated um, Los, the Lost Mesadores. Um I see Hornswoggle going over here because he's just turned heel and he's joined 3MB. Uh, so yeah, I see Hornswoggle going over. Second match I'm going to talk about is for the Intercontinental title. Big E defending against Bad News Barrett. I'm going to say Bad News Barrett is going to win here because they've been really uh, pushing him these last couple weeks on, on Raw. Um, learn, uh, you know, uh, beat guys like Rey Mysterio and Sheamus, which I thought was a shocker. But yeah, Bad News Barrett, they're, they're real behind, uh, Vince is real behind Bad News Barrett, and I think that uh, he is going to win the Intercontinental title. I would like to see Wade Barrett get elevated to that WWE World t to the main event scene this year um, in WWE. But I'm glad that he's getting a push and guys not getting buried. So yeah, I'm going to say Bad News Barrett wins um, the Intercontinental title. Third match we're going to talk about is Bray Wyatt vs. John Cena. Uh, the, um, before WrestleMania, I said that Bray Wyatt needed to defeat John Cena to elevate Bray Wyatt as a main event star in WWE. And I know what he lost, and he, obviously he lost because John Cena's ego is too damn big. And now, um, uh, Bray needs to win, in my opinion, because this feud is kind of stupid, in my opinion. Like, like the slick that he said on the OTR, uh, he said it as well in his re review. I think Raw he did. Um, he said how stupid it was, like have John Cena like win at WrestleMania and win on, um, you know, beat the Whites on Raw. I mean, he said it was stupid. In, I, I, I mean, you know, he said it was stupid. You know, I agree with what the what the slick that he said with you know. Uh, having John Cena go over at WrestleMania, that was goofy in my opinion. Bray Wyatt should have gone over at WrestleMania in my opinion. Um, not, um, you know, the whole idea of this Bray Wyatt John Cena feud was is to get Bray Wyatt over as a main event guy. Now it's John Cena just bury him. But in my opinion, Bray Wyatt needs to win. So I'm going for Bray for the win. <coughs> <coughs> Fourth match I'm going to talk about is for the Divas title. It, it's Paige defending against Tamina so Snooker. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna see Paige retains. This is a zero bullet at all, so I'm not gonna talk about it until Paige goes over. First match I'm gonna talk about is Evolution versus The Shield in a six-man tag match. I have been really excited for this match. Um, this has had re some really good build. Uh, you've had The Shield, the Spear, Triple H, and attack Batista and Randy Orton. Then you had um, The Shield, and then you've had the triple. Then you've had the. Then you've had the Evolution attack The Shield. Then um, you've had, you know, uh, you, you've had, uh, so they've been brawling back and forth, they've got some problems on each other, so uh, for this, I'm going to say because Evolution, um, uh, because Evolution lost at WrestleMania, I'm going to say that Evolution go over here in this match and get the win, hopefully this could, and I think the only way they're going to win is that, I think that Dean Ambrose is probably going to attack um, Roman Reigns to join up with Evolution to join that future kind of spot of evolution because you got the present which is Triple H uh, you got the past which is Triple H, you got the present which is Randy Orton and Batista and you got the future guy, we don't know who that future guy is going to be and I think that future guy could be Roman Reigns or Dean Ambrose and if you want to do like a shield triple threat match at, at SummerSlam they really need to start building up for that 
um, for that triple threat match yeah, right now um, after Extreme Rules because SummerSlam is only a couple months away so they need to start building up that triple threat match up um, slowly so I'm going to say that Dean Ambrose casts the shield um, I'm going to say that Dean Ambrose casts the, uh, the shield this match and joins up Revolution so I'm going to say Evolution gets the win Sixth match I'm going to talk about is for the WWE World title and the next Extreme Rules match is going to be Daniel Bryan vs Kane I'm going to say D. Bryan goes over here. Um, I think WWE wants to give D. Bryan a, a long title run like CM Punk did in 2012. Uh, I'm going to say D. Bryan goes over here and, and, and this view probably continues. Hopefully it has better build up. But I hope will. Uh, the seventh match tonight, seventh match I'm going to talk about is a two on, uh, is a two on one handicap match. It's going to be Alexander Rusev versus Xavier Woods and R-Truth. Um, um, I'm going to say that Rusev is going over here. Eighth match of the eighth match I'm gonna talk about is a triple threat match: Jack Swagger versus RVD versus Cesaro. This has some real good build up here. Um, only my problem with this duty, only problem with this match is why is RVD in, in this match? And uh, I don't really get that. Just because um, Cesaro cost him a, a chance to become any kind of champion, I don't really get that, man. Like I don't get that at all. But I'm gonna say that Cesaro go, um, goes over here, and Swagger and and Cesaro. Swagger and Cesaro and, Swag Swagger, uh, and Cesaro can continue f the few going to, uh, to payback and you know money in the bank and you know so on so I'm going to say Cesaro gets the win so that guys is my preview and predictions for WWE Extreme Rules 2014 what did you guys say what's your thoughts on this card leave your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching guys right out